All right, let's get this thing going. What's good, Knicks Nation? Salute. Man, we got tonight we got a win from the jump. This game was a smooth sailing for New York. New York would start the game with a 13-0 run, and they wouldn't look back. They would continue to work the Spurs late into the night. I mean, at one point, the Knicks were up by 30. It was a complete team effort for New York tonight to make this win look so easy, whether it was quickly bringing his electric scoring off the bench, Mitchell Robinson, Isaiah Hartenstein bringing that fire and ice energy at the center position, or New York's big three all scoring over 20 points. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about RJ Barrett tonight because RJ is on one, ladies and gentlemen. He is more than heating up. He is on fire. In the end, the Knicks would defeat the Spurs 126-105 to 105 and prevent Wemby from joining the long list of players that go off in Madison Square Garden. So let's discuss this tonight. It was good for the Knicks, man. I mean, this is a this is a game where they should they should come in here and win because they are the season team. As we heard this entire off season, continuity, continuity, should continuity, continuity, continuity. And so, for continuity being the theme of this off season, they should have came, they should have been able to come in here, take care of business against a very young Spurs team. Yes, we saw Victor Wembanyama I mean, this time uh, lead the Spurs to two victories over the Phoenix Suns, but still. The Knicks being the veteran team that they are, this should have been an easy one for them, and it was. And what I really liked about it, and we're going to start off with this guy from the rip, is R.J. Barrett, man. R.J. Barrett just continuing his solid start to the season. Just been fantastic overall. Went 8-for-17 tonight, 5-for-9 from downtown, man. He is still shooting over 40% from three to begin this season he went three for three at the free throw line got you six assists the vision is just getting so much better man than what it has been and only got you two rebounds tonight got you one steal but i'm not a big plus minus guy but it was a plus 26 and you saw it just from how he started from the jump and i just like everything that he's doing man and for this knicks team you need him to be playing at this level if you're thinking about trying to go further than what they did in the playoffs last season right we saw how solid he was against the Cleveland Cavaliers he was there for I'd say he was there for I guess the most part against the Miami Heat but you need him a healthy Randall and Brunson to really lead this team if they want to go further than the second round but and for how he's starting this season he's showing that he's really taken another step forward in his development in year five and it's it's great, man. It's honestly great. But another guy we got to talk about, man. And I'm not even gonna go to either Randall or, or Brunson because they had they had solid games, but it hasn't been standing out as much as our guy Mitchell Robinson, who is continuing to make a name for himself for all defensive teams, man. Because he has just been solid outside of defending Christoph Porzingis to begin the season. He has been he has been Christoph just dominant on the defensive end i mean even tonight you see victor Wembanyama is not comfortable in how he is attacking and what he was able to do against the suns or any other opponent not comfortable in it right mitchell robinson is just protecting the paint continuing to do a really good job and you see how he has become patient he's become uh was it patient he's become well what's the, what's the word i'm looking for i guess poise poise is the word i'm looking for he's become very poised because this is not the same guy that would just rush out and try to block threes as a rookie. Now he's just waiting, once again, as for RJ, for the game to come to him and just really just make an impact wherever he's needed. I couldn't agree with you more about Mitch, man. The thing about him is you can see that his confidence, especially with his free throws, is growing as well. He gets upset when he isn't going to make them. He has a nice little... Um, he has a decent, I'd say, kind of arc on his shot. And, you know, that's been a nice development in his game. I spoke a little bit about this during the previous game. He's been good at resetting screens as well. Um, Mitch has been an absolute force, man. And, and if, if we, we got to start ramping up this defensive player of the year campaign because, like, this is, you know, he's got it for sure. You know, from the opening tip, the Knicks balls, the, the, the Knicks were not playing any games. And I thought Mitchell Robinson really set that tone, winning the tip. When Mitch won that tip, I think that was almost the loudest it got in the mm. arena. <laughs> it was for when Mitch 
won the tip over Wembenyama, you know, from the first rebound that he snatched to the first alley-oop that he caught. M Mitch has been on a mission the, the entire season, really. And, and from the preseason on, just seeing him uh, be in command uh, of a game. And, and I talked about this in, in my live stream from MSG. You know, over the six years that we've seen Mitch play, you've seen as he's gotten older and mature and more, more and more games where he's the more dominant big, right? But, but yeah. now this season, it's almost every night where he's imposing his Insane. will, man. He's imposing his will. And he's not the guy, you know, tonight was a night where Wemby was getting pushed around by Mitch and, and, uh, and I Heart. Once upon a time, that was Mitch. You know, matter of fact, games for, I thought, RJ, for, for Brunson, and for Julius as well. Uh, to me, I thought quickly had the best game, man. It, mm. it's just, it didn't seem like quickly had to work for anything out there. He was better than RJ? Offense. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just felt like it just. Wow. Uh, yeah, I just felt like this game came really easy for quick, man. Uh, I thought it came really easy for him. He was he was so agile. He was on his feet. The, the ball movement, the off ball movement, quick was in his bag tonight from from beginning. For to sure, end. I thought this, this was quickly tonight. Even though RJ had more points, I, I just felt like quickly it was just such an easy night for him, man. Easy night for him. Yeah. Um, I, I was at the game today, and I'm just gonna give a little view from my perspective. Sure. Yeah, man, a lot of stars at the game tonight, you know, Melo, Fat Joe, Victor, Cruz was out there, Funk Flex, mm -hmm. the cool UFC fighter dude, cool stuff, game was yeah. game was nice. Um, let's get to the players, RJ Barrett, man, what more can I say, he played great, yep. we got a dub, the bad man, the young prince of New York, he played masterfully, I believe he's definitely a cornerstone, cornerstone going forward, man, um, this trade move RJ talk, you gotta take a pause, cause he, his price is going up, for real. You know, IQ was great, man. Lightning in a bottle mode. He's hitting open shots, timely passing and steals. JB, Jalen Brunson was great. He had a nice one-on-one -on -one play. He scrapped up uh he scrapped up Wemby for the nice uh, fadeaway. Yeah, that yeah, was crazy. When he, when he, when he, well, when he yeah. cast a three in Wemby's eye piece, I thought that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was he cooled, it. Yeah. yeah, he cooled down the Spurs, you know, at that moment, you know. Um, Randall, you know, it was same old Julius, man. Let's face it, man. We could just gotta take him as, as it is. He's an offensively gifted, defensive, inept Draymond, you know, like this is what we got. We gotta work with him, you know. Um, his value gotta go up somehow. As long as we win, I think, you know, down the road we might make a move, you know. But uh, Mitch also was good, you know. I think he played a lot of minutes, he was a little gas down the stretch, but um, but he mustered it out, man. And great men, man. And, and the other side, you know, Jeremy Schultz, Sohan, you know, you know, rough dude, man, a little dirty. He had, he had a little dirty play on um on Brunson. I didn't really yeah. like that. You know, he got a lot of booze, you know. Crowd was on him, man. And the crowd was on Wemby too, man. Yo, seriously, yo, he 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 had to eat his words, man. He was shook. He was shook, man. Uh, he shook. said the, yeah. the MSG, you know, uh, he, uh, ain't big enough for him. Come on, man. He yeah. ain't show up, man. His, his stats show for it. Um, you know, his, his, you know, it's probably one of his you know, worst games of the year, you know, and, yeah. um, he got the overrated chance. I know, I know y'all heard it. Oh, my end was, yeah. it, it was super loud, you know, but, um, yeah. great win for the Knicks, man. And, you know, I think we do a good, if we get out of this little schedule, man, and we, and we come out over 500, I think we're going to have a good season. Hey, let's do it. I hear you, man. Appreciate the call. Appreciate the call. We knew the first 10 was going to be rough. 500 right now. Back to square one. 500 after eight, take it, you know? 